Ben here, back with another video for you today. I'm just going to give you a little bit of information about myself. Now, here's my house. This is where I live at. And you can see I've got a neighbor, neighbor, a neighbor, a neighbor, a neighbor, a neighbor, a neighbor. And across the street, I've got more neighbors. I live right in town. Now, I'm in my backyard here. And to just show you, you know, I have a little incensed yard and my daughter's rabbit down there shed and little garage back there and I have a little garden and my back porch my house those are the steps I made off the sawmill wood from the sawmill and that's all I've got a little 60 by 160 yard that's my yard it's really not much so where are you going to put a sawmill out when you have a yard like this Okay, now here, this is my brother's house, okay, and here's his garage. Now he went and bought the skid steer and then bought the tilt deck trailer just for his own personal use for things that he does around all the time. And when he did buy it, everybody thought he was nuts, you know, because the skid steer wasn't cheap. You know, I couldn't tell you how much he paid for it and, uh, he started out with just a skid steer and he had two buckets and a little backhoe attachment for it and he's dug a lot of holes for a lot of people and he's done a lot of things and every time somebody needs it all of a sudden the crazy idea of getting a skid loader wasn't so crazy of an idea <clears throat> now around the end of the garage he built this little addition and then when we got the sawmill we built just a little lean-to on the end for the sawmill and I have a little doorway there to go into it and then around the other end of the garage is my sawmill. I went through the idea of buying a sawmill and I said to my brother, you know, we're always buying lumber. What do you think about buying a sawmill? And I think he thought I was nuts, you know, but uh, I think as the idea sat in, he said, you know, we could always get logs. You know, he'd help me get logs and I told him I don't have a place to store the sawmill. And he said, that's not a problem. He'd let me store it down here at his house. And, uh, you know, he's got the yard in the area, so that's where I store all my lumber. I've gone through this before, I make it sick spinning me around here, but all the logs, got stacks of lumber out there, and, uh, you know, the sawmills here. So there's the buzz saw. I don't know the blade on yet, still a work in progress, and the sawmill and all the slab wood and everything else and all the mess I've made out here and he has no problem with you know me making a mess with a skid loader and borrowing his equipment and borrowing his trailer and using his land to put my sawmill on I'm going to give my little bit of thanks here and say thank you Lyle for all your help and letting me put the sawmill out here at your house if it wasn't for you I wouldn't have a sawmill and uh, for everybody else out there watching I just want you all to know you know, I don't have a whole lot of family, and a little bit that I do have, I really appreciate. So, you know, cherish the people that you love, and let them know that you appreciate them in your lives. You know, life's short, so I'll put that out there. Uh, that's all I really got for this video. I just wanted to explain my situation a little bit, and I always say my skid loader, or, you know, my trailer, or my this, or my that. It's not mine, it's my brother's, but, uh... You know, that's that's just the lingo, that's just how I say it, that's just how it is. You know, so forgive me for that, and uh, I'll catch all you guys next time.